Hi, and in this short video I would like to show you how to add columns in a document library in SharePoint. Um, first up, let's open up our SharePoint page. So here we are in our team landing page. Um, what you next do next is just simply browse to the document library that you want to add the column to. Here we are. Now, as you can see, this is the new look for a document library in SharePoint. Now, sometimes you would like to add a column um, so you can easily identify um, documents and or filter them out more easily. Um, in the new look, it's very easy to do. You just click the plus icon on this um, column tab here and that will give you multiple options uh, depending on what kind of column you want. You might want a column where you can just add a single line of text or multiple lines of text, uh, persons or dates, um, and even if you click more, it will bring you to another page where you can set up the column name and it will give you multiple options for whatever column you might need. Um, it can be a simple yes or no column, it can be hyperlinked or pictures in it, all kinds of stuff. Now often what we would like to advise you is to actually create a column and attach it to a managed metadata set. So what you would normally do in this instance is you select the managed metadata set, that'll load up a new screen. You can fill in the description if it needs information, yes or no. Um, if you want multiple values to be able to be added to that column. And in here you will actually find the um, metadata set that you want to add to this column. So in this instance I would like to go to a metadata set that I've already created called document type. This will have all sorts of tags that we use for our documents. I'll just select document type right here. Um, yes, I would like to be able to fill in new choices if they're not existing in that um, document set yet. Um, a default value if you want to. Um, in this case, we'll leave it blank and just click OK. Oops, forgot to type the name. So in this case, I would like this column to be called document type. All right, so let's go back, click on OK. That'll take a second to save. All right, once we're back in our document library, you can see now that there's a new column called document type. And now if you select a document, for instance, and go to the info tab, you will actually be able to fill out that column right here in its metadata tags. As you can see, because we added a metadata set to it, it will um, give us a selection of all the data that might be in there. So in this case, I would probably say this is a report. You just select it and it will automatically save it and there you are. That's how easy it is in the new look. We've just simply added a new column by clicking the plus sign and in this case we've assigned it to a metadata set.